and welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for clicking into this video so in this video i am going to teach you how to fix the error 400 redirect uri mismatch so make sure that you stay until the very end of this video so you don't miss any important step or information and without further ado let's get on it so in order to resolve the error you will need first to access your app in google developers console and carry the following steps that i am going to teach you so i'm going to put the link of the google developers console in the description down below so you can just check that in there so the first thing that you need to do is to delete your current client id so to do that just simply select credentials from the left hand menu and click create credentials then skip the setup wizard by selecting the client id so after you've done that just select the auth client id right here so the auth client id once you are in the credentials so in on the next screen just please ensure that the application type as desktop app and ensure not to select the web application so right here the application type so you can just um change that in there so after you've done that just enter a name for the application such as symbol calendar client id and then click the create button and note it may take five minutes to a few hours for settings to take effect and you can then copy your own client id or your new client id and client secret and then next just navigate to the calendar and then go to the settings page or settings section within your wordpress dashboard and on the event sources section so just remove your previously added google auth client id so the google auth client secret and the authentication code so once this is done just save your changes and one at a time copy and paste the client id and the client secret values from the google developers console and paste them in their respective fields within the calendar settings and then click save changes so after then that just click the authenticate with a google button or a pop-up will appear for you to select your gmail account and just follow the instructions in the pop-up and authorize your own application with your google account so by clicking on to the allow button google will return an auth code which you can paste in the authentication code field and then click the save changes so note if you are not currently logged in to the google you must log in first and you are going to authorize simple calendar to use calendars of the google user that is currently logged in and if you share your wordpress installation with other users they won't be able to control your google account but if they have access rights to simple calendar they might control or read your calendars or calendars belonging to the user who has authorized simple calendar so that's it for this video those are all the steps that you need to do to possibly fix the air code 400 redirect uri mismatch so i hope this video helped you and if it did please make sure to like subscribe and hit the notification bell button so you don't miss a video thank you so much for watching and have a great day Bye bye